Hi everyone, today I'd like to talk about a concept I learned in a great book called Good to Great by the author Jim Collins. Uh, Jim Collins and his team of researchers studied some of the best companies in the world over a prolonged period of time to see what uh, patterns and routines and trends they could figure out about what made some companies great and other companies good and what was the difference. So the book was called Good to Great, Why Some Companies Make the Leap and Others Don't. And there's a great concept in that book called the Hedgehog Concept. I think it applies to any business, even to a business that hasn't started yet or is in its very early stages or in the early stages of growth. There are three concepts within the Hedgehog Concept, three circles that should intersect for a business to have the potential to scale and to become a great company. So the first one, the first question to ask yourself in business is, what am I passionate about? So in order for any business to have the potential to be a great business, that business needs to be involved in an area where the people that run that company are very, very passionate about the product or service that they offer. And some people are very passionate about customer service or about their range of products, or about one particular product. Others may be, like an engineering firm, might be much more focused on precision. And so different companies have different things that they're passionate about, but without exception, all of the great companies are very, very clear on that, what they love to do the most, and that's what they focus on. So that's the first circle. The second circle is about being the best in the world. Companies can be good at lots of, lots of different things, but it's, it's a different thing altogether to be able to say that you are involved in something, you're producing a product, or you're creating, uh, uh, providing a service that you can be the best in the world at. Not, not that you would aspire to be, but that you actually can be, that you have the capability. And that's a very subtle distinction, but a very important one. So the first thing is, what do I love to do? Second thing is, what am I capable of being the best in the world at? Now, if your business is a smaller business, then you can think about it from the point of view, of, well, what am I capable of being the best in my local area or my market in, and focus on that. But as a business grows and scales and expands and more resources are poured into it, then it's the idea that you can be the best in the world at what you do, the product that you make, the service that you provide. That's a very important thing to aspire to. And it's important that it connects well with what you love to do, the passion behind your project. And the third one then is, what is the economic driver of your business? So economic driver means different things for different businesses. For example, if you're a business in the not-for-profit sector, or an organization in the not-for-profit sector, your economic driver may be cash flow per client or per sponsor, per subscriber, per donor. If you're a commercial entity and you're selling a product, it could be profit per each type of product that you have. It could be profit per product line because you may offer a number of products within the same sector. So each business has economic driver and it's very, very important that you understand what is the economic driver for your specific business. And it's the intersection of these three things, what you're passionate about, being capable of being the best in the world at it, and that you, it is compatible with the economic drivers of your business. It's, this is the sweet spot for all businesses that have the capability of going from good to great. So remember that as you start out in business, as you develop your own business, ask those three questions about your business and make sure that you're focused on this intersection of the three concepts in the middle. Make sure that what you're passionate about, you're also capable of being the best in the world at and make sure that these two are compatible with the economic drivers. So it is no good, for example, to be passionate about something that you want to provide in the form of a product or service, but it just doesn't work from an economic point of view in terms of sustainability and scalability of your business. Equally, you could be passionate about something and love to do it, but if you're not capable of being best in the world at it, then you're going to have a lot of competition and there's going to be somebody out there who is best in the world at it 
and you'll struggle to gain and hold on to market share. So the hedgehog, hedgehog concept by Jim Collins from the book Good to Great, a great starting point for any business, any aspiring business owner, entrepreneur to think about how should I start off here in a way that I can sustain my effort and my company has the capability of scaling to great heights and being one of those companies that's featured in future books as one of the great companies in the world. So I hope this is helpful to you. I admire everybody who's involved in business. I'm a huge supporter of you. All of the good things in my own life have come from being in business. I've had my ups and downs, but I have learned as I've gone along. And being an entrepreneur is one of the best experiences a person can ever have. And I'm here to support you. Thank you and talk to you all again soon.